Alrighty, we're going to convert a Flight Simulator 9 repaint to Flight Simulator 10. I'll show you the quick and painless way to do it, and then I will show you the takes longer but looks better way to do it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to convert John Tavendale's uh, Austrian repaint. I've already downloaded and installed it, and here's the texture folder for it. Uh, in Flight Sim 9. What I've done uh, before the video here is uh, I've gone through and the belly, engine, fuse left, right, uh, wings left and right, and the winglet, I've converted them to Targa files, as you can see there. And uh, what we're going to do, basically, I mean, really, uh, the quick and easy way to do it, we'll start with that first. Have your um, this is a winglet repaint by the way. We'll have your Flight Simulator 10 winglet folder up right next to your 9. And I'm just going to drag this over and we're going to copy it here. Okay, there we go. Flight Simulator 10, uh, to keep file size down, a lot of files you won't need anymore. Uh, mainly, one of them is all your virtual cockpit textures. You don't need these anymore. So you can go ahead and remove those out. We'll get rid of the nine. We don't, we're not going to work in it with right now. Um, Flight Simulator 10 here. We'll go ahead and get rid of the fly, uh, those textures there. Taxi on left and right. We also do not need those anymore. Belly the belly night texture we don't need that engine night texture we don't need that wing left don't need it wing right night texture don't need it and the rest of that we'll leave in there basically what I'm saying is is um, if you look at the uh, default X house texture you'll notice that everything's a DDS file and I'll show you how to make those in a second here. Uh, what we're going to need to get from this texture folder, the X house, is we're going to need to get all these X files here. The, those are your specular and bump mapping. We're going to need the thumbnail JPEG texture configuration file, Fresnel ramp DDS, lights Fresnel DDS, and that is it. So you're going to copy those go to your new Austrian and you're going to paste those in there. <clears throat> okay. Now this paint is ready to be converted over to Flight Simulator 10. First off, we need to get rid of the old bitmaps cuz our targas, we're going to convert those to DDS files. So what we got to do is all your daytime uh bitmaps here, your belly, your engine, left, right, wing left, wing right, and wing let. Let's go ahead and select those, the bitmaps, and delete them out. All you're going to do now is your targas are going to take their place. So, the quick and easy way to do it, right click on it. We're going to open it with image tool. You'll see a uh, link to download that, or where to find it in the um, the uh, PDF version of the original repaint tutorial and uh, you're gonna file you're gonna save this file um, as the belly texture always just click one time on it to get the file name loaded and you're gonna change it from a targa to a DDS file hit save that's good there go to the engine you can open all these all at once in here, but I'm doing it this way to kind of show you. Uh, the Pratt & Whitney engine. DDS. Uh, fuselage left. There you go. And to save time, I'm going to go ahead and just open... Uh, Fuselage right, wing left, wing right, and wing let. This will kind of show you how to do this. Uh, winglet's loaded up here. I'm going to save as. 
DDS. Painting takes a lot of time, so any way you can find a trick that saves you a minute here, a minute there, do it. And that's what I did with the uh, the file names here. Just left clicking on them so I don't have to retype it every single time. All I gotta do is type in DDS. Fuselage, right there it is. Okay. And that's it. Um, that's really all there is to it. Uh, that's the quick and easy way to convert a paint over to Flight Simulator 10. Okay. Um, once you're done, you can go ahead and get rid of these target files. You can delete them out because uh, we won't be needing them anymore. But uh, I'm going to make a second tutorial here showing the long drawn out and better looking way to do it. Uh, also, don't forget to add your Austrian down here. Luckily Austrian is a Pratt & Whitney just like my Hawaiian, the last one I installed. So we can just copy it because it has a reference to the uh, Pratt & Whitney model. And what you got to do here, uh, last one for Hawaiian was flat sim.4 so we're going to make this flat sim.5. Change it from Hawaiian to Austrian. Texture folder is OS cannot remember the tail number that's what goes there airline is the call sign that they use for air traffic control and last but not least the UI variation is Austrian Just save that and now it's ready to be viewed within Flight Simulator 10 that is really all there is to it converting one from 9 to 10 so uh, to summarize here all we did was uh, brought the texture folder over, got rid of all the unneeded textures, uh, virtual cockpit, some of the night textures, and whatnot, and uh, copied over some of the newer textures, these DDS files from the default paint jobs, along with the thumbnail and texture config. And real quick, while we got time, I'll explain to you the uh, texture configuration here. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. What this does is uh, it creates a fallback, as you see here. So it's saying, let's say, for instance, the virtual cockpit textures. Flight Sim says, hey, I'm reading this uh, texture.os folder here, and there's no virtual cockpit textures. How am I going to display them on the model and within the game? Well, it refers to this texture config file. It'll say, OK, I'll look here and here. If it's not there, then I'll look in these folders. If it's not there, I'll look here, which is where it actually is. So if we go back to 763 texture, here they are. So it's going to look there for those files. And that's all the config does. Basically, it saves you a lot of file size for your paints. You'll notice that the X paints are a lot smaller than the uh, Flight Sim 9 paints uh, if you include just what you need. But, uh, that's just a brief rundown on how to get it, uh, how to get a paint over to Flight Simulator 10. And like I said, next I'm going to do a uh, a more detailed video uh, showing you how to go in, edit the alpha textures, and things of that nature. And also we'll make a installer using uh, we'll make our own custom thumbnail and a preview for the installer file. So, all right. Until then, I will see you in a minute.